the structure of the educational system is not ready to deal with something like a COVID-19 crisis. We need systems, plans that have been built in advance and tested. How do we get the tools that kids need to continue to learn? I mean, our kids had lots of computers and a pretty good internet connection. It wasn't a wonderful experience, but I've talked to people who had one computer, four working people, and other people who didn't have an internet connection. And that needs to be done when things are calm and the resources are available. Trying to do it in the middle of a crisis produces all kinds of problems. Education is an industry that has lagged behind. The pandemic has been important here because it has shown that we can adapt pretty quickly to lecturing mode. So education is becoming so expensive. So uh, we have to scale up the size of classes and do it, uh, provide it in more cheaper ways so that we have recorded lectures. We don't have to do it over and over again in the classroom every year. We do need to get a computer to everyone and learn how to use it and develop digital skills with some basic programming and STEM skills. And then we need to emphasize social skills a lot more. COVID has moved us away from social skills, but they are going to be extremely important. Even within the hospitals and, and frontline workers, they, they are not just doctors and nurses dealing with uh, the science of medicine, but especially in COVID, actually, it was the only company that the poor people who were in hospitals had because no one could go and see them, of their relations. And, and that's social skills. So the curriculum needs to put more emphasis in uh, those things. You don't want to have the kids at home all the time just staring at the computer and saying, you know, I'm, I'm learning things. What we know now, for example, from economic research is that the education you give to a three-year-old to five-year-old is extremely important about later life. Well, that education cannot be given uh, at home. So striking this combination would be, is ideal, and many universities are now trying it. This will mean really big changes for education. It's not going to take away the classroom, but it will supplement the classroom. And a lot of colleges are likely to struggle and maybe disappear. There's been a lot of learning and experimentation that I think will influence positively the educational processes at all levels, in which we're going to sort of do things dramatically differently in elementary and secondary education, but mainly because of the social dimension, which is so important. Obviously, now there is better technology in uh, developing uh, those things, but the direct contact will never be defeated.